we are in Dhammapada, stanza number 222. Yoche uppattitang kodang ratang bhaktang vadharaye tamahang sarating brumi rasmigaho itarojano. Brief meaning of this stanza is he who holds back a recent anger as one checks a wailing chariot. Him I call a charioter. Other folk hold, only hold the reins. This stanza is very important stanza in the Buddha's dispensation history. There was an incident. The Buddha introduced a new rules with this incident, because of this incident. Therefore, this stanza is very important. The dispensation history. In here, there are few words that we should keep in our mind. Yocha uppattitang kodang. Kodang, as you know what is koda, koda is anger. Koda is anger. It is bad, unwholesome root. We have jealous because of koda. We have unhappy, unwholesome thoughts because of koda. So, yoche upattitin koda. He who holds back erison anger, upattitan koda means already erison anger. Who can stop that erison anger? Because as a mundane nature, we know anger is with us all the time. We don't know when it's come, how it's come, what would be the reasons to have anger, we don't know. Sometimes perhaps a breath can be a objective to arise anger in your mind. For example, when you sit in for meditation, group meditation with few other people, you are planning to, you are wishing to start the metta meditation. Then you sit there. While you were sitting there, your mind is concentration, concentrating well. And then you can hear some very tiny sounds which is coming from outside. Even someone's breath, you can listen. Who is next to you? Listening to that person's breath, then you're ready to develop some kind of unwholesome thoughts regarding anger. Oh, why this person, even meditation time, not able to breathe in and out comfortably, happily, peacefully. Then, without knowing, you develop your anger. See, even the breath had become an object to gain anger. So, therefore, there is no particular reasons to generate anger. Every and each object can be a reason to gain anger. That much subtle, very, very complicated situation is there with the uh, roots of anger. So, if someone can see this and stop right away, oh, this is anger. With the influence of angry thoughts, I may not suppose to do or tell something. If you can stop your word that you're going to use with the ang angry thought and uh, the actions that you're going to do with your anger, if you can stop, who can stop that? Only the mindful person can stop that. But anyway, when you're able to stop that, you can prevent from unwholesome actions, unwholesome 
uh, activities, akusala kriya, unwholesome activities. Because of your mindfulness, you can directly connect with your mind. You can see what kind of thoughts are arising there, what kind of thoughts are dominant there, what kind of thoughts influence to your word and actions. Seeing all these things, then you're ready to develop your energy. You're ready to develop your strength and developing your energy and your strength, the painful attention, put in effort, you're ready to stop that action because you know, you don't have clear mind at that moment. You have unclear mind. You have dirty mind, dirty thoughts, influence of unwholesome roots. So right away, you can stop. It is like, uh, Buddha use a simile here. Ratang batang dharaye. There is a vehicle which is driving very fast, but the driver is very tactful, skillful driver is there. So that driver is knowing to stop that uh, speedy car safely. He knows the techniques. Knowing that techniques stopped by the driver, the Buddha say, I'm saying, I would like to say that chariot is, I call a chariot. He is the real driver because he knows his speed. He knows very well. And knowing his speed, following the guidance, and he was able to manage even though speed car to stop safely. No dangers there. That much skillfulness is with that driver. Same way, thoughts are arising in your mind, generating, continuously generating thoughts in your mind. Recognizing wholesome and unwholesome thoughts, if you are able to stop your unwholesome thoughts, not thoughts actually unwholesome action which is going to happen with the influence of unwholesome thoughts, you are real driver. You are real driver because you know that the speed, you know how, what would be with that uh, uh, driving situation, how would be the end, the journey, you know everything. Knowing all these benefits and danger, you ready to stop that safely. Stopping safely is the most important thing. As a driver, we should pay attention to our mind, what kind of thoughts are arising, generating there, and how would be the word and actions if you're going to do with that wicked mind. Or if it is a pleasant or unpleasant thoughts, you can recognize, if you can recognize in this manner, so it is easy, it is very easy to stop that. So stopping that unwholesome actions that going to happen with the influence of unwholesome thoughts, you can be a wise person. You can be a wise person. Tamahang Sarating Brumi, I'm telling he is the real driver. Because even though he is sitting on cushion there in driver's driver, driving seat, he is mindful. He is know what is happening. He can control the speed. He can everything under his uh, influence. So that kind of uh, driving is the driving that we can say safety driving. Rasmigaho itaro jano. Rasmigaho itaro jano. Other folk only hold the reins. Other folk only hold the reins. It means who are not mindful, they can stop. But the danger and already damage would be there. 
when they try to stop the car, it's ready to go in out the roads, out the track. No one can avoid that if you are not skillful enough to stop safely. It is happening. It's going out the track. So this is happening. If you are unskillful driver, this could be the results in your emergency stop. So we have to be always, we have to be a wise and a, a skillful driver, not to drive others' vehicles, to drive your vehicle. What is your vehicle? Your life vehicle. Everything happening according to your mind. Mind is the leader, mind is the forerunner. So we have to tame our mind. We have to be aware of our mentality and we have to see the results of our mind. Seeing that results, we can have ability to manage our activities. This is very, very important. The Buddha delivered this stanza because of a deity who was living in a tree. That deity was living in a forest in a tree. Those days, the beginning of the sasana, this order, monks were cutting trees and making their own shelters, temples to live. Somehow there was a monk who was, who was planning to build a house for him. He was cutting trees himself, he started to build a temple. The deity who was staying in that uh, tree knew this monk's going to cut this tree. And then he appeared in front of that monk and then pledged, uh, begged him, Venerable Sir, don't cut this tree. This is the only place that I can found and I can live. I have a even little baby. This baby and me are not able to go any other places. Please help us, protect us, don't cut this tree. But that monk did not want to listen to them. He already cut the tree. That deity got anger. He was full of anger. He wanted to do harmful things to that monk. But suddenly it came to his mind, oh, he is a virtuous person. His morale is very high. If I going to do something, I might get a lot of demerits. I don't want to get that demerits myself. I have enough demerits. He stopped his action. And he wanted to inform this, this situations, this, this incidents to the Buddha. Right away, he was rushing to see the Buddha at the monastery where Buddha was, uh, that deity was explaining every incident what happened there. The Buddha was very happy about deities. Then Buddha said, you are excellent driver. You knew what kind of thoughts are arising in your mind. And if you are going to tell or do something with that uh, unwholesome thoughts, uh, cloudy mind, you knew what is what would be the results. Seeing these results, you stop your unwholesome action. You are a wise person. You are a real, excellent, skillful driver. And appreciating his uh, action, the Buddha started to deliver Dhamma. At the end of Dhamma sermon, he attained Sotapanna, that deity attained Sotapanna stream enter. At that day, 
Buddha declared a Vine rules to monks, you are not supposed to cut trees. The Buddha declared that. New Vine rules established because of this incidence in this dispensation. So, in here, in this stanza, this kind of historical stanza in the Buddha's dispensation, because because of this incident, this, this, the Buddha was able to establish a new rule for the monks. Benefits for all the monks. There were, there are, there would be. So, in this particular sutta, very important thing is we have to think about ourselves and we have to develop a skill to recognize our thoughts and roots of that thoughts. This is very important. We have only two kinds of action, actions, wholesome and unwholesome actions as a mandate. If you are mindful, you can prevent from unwholesome actions, unwholesome activities, if you are mindful and if you have enough energy if you are wise enough to understand that rules. Dear friends, there are some people who are, who says, I'm proud because I'm Buddhist. Sometimes people say so. This is also unbuddhistic thoughts. The Buddha did not deliver Dhamma to be pride, the Buddha delivered Dhamma to kill pride. Why? Pride directly connect, there is a connection with ego. We practice Buddhism not to develop our ego, to reduce our ego. Our duty, our responsibility is to reduce ego, to eliminate ego. Ego is the most dangerous things. What is the difference with mundane person and uh, enlightened being? Enlightened beings does not have any egoistic thoughts. They don't have ego. Mundane people always they are living with their egoistic thoughts. Me, my, myself. There's they're talking about my car, my country, my house, my family, my job. See, sometimes you can see some people who are living in a community. If someone voluntarily ready to help others, just think about uh, if there is some assignments that you should, you're supposed to do, but there is a good person who is who has good kind thoughts ready to help you. Sometimes when you are not there, that person ready to do that, your assignments. That person ready to get tango. Oh, why he is doing my job? You're not supposed to do my job. I am here to do my job. What is this? Anger. Why that anger arise in there? Because of ego. So many unwholesome thoughts, unwholesome roots are there to arise unwholesome activities there because of that ego. If you are mindful, you can directly recognize your egoistic nature or oh, ego is arising in my mind. I'm not supposed to continue this egoistic thoughts. I want to stop. I don't want to see unwholesome accent and unwholesome words through my, with the influence of my unwholesome roots. It's happening because of your mindfulness. So this is the mindfulness. Mindfulness is not just awareness. Seeing your unwholesome thoughts and you are able to stop your unwholesome action. That is the results of that's happened because of your mindfulness. 
So now you can see what is mindfulness. Around the world, you can hear this word. When you go to airport, you can see, be mindful to take your belongs. Even in the train and public bus, they always make this announcement, be mindful to take your belongs with you. Everywhere. This word is everywhere. That is not the mindfulness. What the Buddha's mindfulness. So we are trying to develop that mindfulness. Seeing danger of unwholesome action as well as the roots of that actions. You are paying attention and developing your energy and strength to stop that action. That is mindfulness. In this particular stanza, the Buddha says he is the real driver, skillful driver, because he can stop safely. He can stop safely. There are some people who are not mindful, who are not able to change their actions into right directions without engaging with unwholesome action, they are not, uh, they are not skillful drivers. So always try to be a skillful driver in this sansaric journey. How you can be a skillful driver? Develop your mindfulness. Develop your mindfulness. Even today, particularly as parents, as adults in this society, give a leadership to our next generation, youngest ones. Many society in the world always depending on electronic gadgetics and social medias today. This is very harmful to practice your mindfulness. These are very dangerous for your skillfulness. All your skills are reducing by these kind of addictions. Very simple example. When you get into car with your family members, particularly if you have kids, with your kids when you get into the car, then your kids are ready to play with their electronic gadgets. You are driving, who are in the car, they are in their world. They don't know what is happening around them. This is not the way how you can guide to your relatives, friends, and family members. You have to talk to them, share thoughts at that time. Because when you are passing some places, areas, you can see so many things. You can talk about these things. Because this is the way how you can develop their thinking ability. Without developing their thinking ability, you can develop their, you can help them to develop their mindfulness. Mindfulness is a result of your thinking ability. To develop your thinking ability, you should think. Whatever the objects come through your eyes, you should think about that. Whatever the objectives come through your ears as a sound, you have to think about it. Whatever the objectives you are putting to your tongue as objectives, think about that. Unfortunately, we are not thinking, we are not using these opportunities to develop our skillfulness and mindfulness. Dear friends, Always we are taking objectives outside through these faculties, bases. So awareness is not enough. We have to be mindful. Being mindful, we can develop our thinking ability. This is the first step to develop your wiseness. We are developing our wisdom. To develop wisdom, 
just you have to have this thoughts and the skills with you what is happening what is the reality here you can develop this insight thinking ability engage in with all these objectives this is very important for our life to increase our wisdom who has that skills and wisdom he is the person who can stop if there is some unwholesome thoughts arising in his mind this is very very wonderful skill that we should develop if you are not able to recognize your thoughts which is arising in your mind you don't you are not able to stop your actions because all these are happening automatically if you are not mindful when anger arises in your mind you ready to turn into action you don't know whether this happen with anger or not that's why later you ready to think oh so i'm so sorry why it's happened to me i not supposed to do that you are worried you are worrying later right after the action this is not the way how we should control our thoughts and action before it's happen we have to stop that then you can be happy oh i had some angry thoughts i had some unwholesome thoughts but i was able to control my unwholesome thoughts not to turn in into action i had anger I, you recognize i stopped my word and actions which is going to happen with this angry thoughts you can be happy it is a skillfulness it is wholesome there is no worries so we should be that kind of people this is the nature of wise person this is the nature of wise person skillful person means this person mindful person means this person so we are trying to develop our mindfulness and our wisdom so this should be the results the nature skillfulness that we should develop so having that aspiration let us practice dhamma to develop our mindfulness thank you very much for your participation i think that would be enough for today let us use this opportunity to share merits with others first of all think about departed relatives friends family members and pets who departed name of us by the power of all these merits and methods may they all be well happy and peaceful having that aspiration say sadhu 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 whoever is affected covid 19 and any other sicknesses by the power of these merits and methods may they all be well happy and peaceful may they be able to get rid of their suffering and pain having that aspiration say sadhu 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 may you all be well happy and peaceful may we all be able to attain ultimate bliss of nibbana having that aspiration say sadhu 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 by means of this meritorious deeds may i never join with the police may i join always with the wise until the time attain nibbana may the suffering may the suffering be free from suffering may the fear struck be free from fear may the grieving be free from grief so too may all beings be from the highest limbs of existence to the lowers may all beings arisen in these realms with form and without form with perception and without perception be released from all suffering and attain to perfect peace excellent 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 thank you very much